As I read through your notes, I would sum it up this way. The markets seem hot, the stocks stink, at least for the home builders. Why do you think there is that disconnect? I think people are uh, looking at the market and thinking the market is predicting uh, what's going to happen with the underlying fundamentals. And, you know, Diane hit the nail on the head. I mean, it's a supply-demand imbalance. We have uh, excess demand and not enough supply. And when we look, at, um, we look at rates and we look at affordability, you know, what's driving the market today, the entry level has begun to come back in a real way. And uh, I think a lot of investors forget that a lot of those entry level buyers have been in rentals where the prices have continued to gone up. So the rent versus own equation, even though rates have moved higher, isn't uh, as concerning as it would seem so, on the surface. So, so fundamentally, you believe that the, that, the, that the stocks like D.R. Horton, like Lennar, like Toll Brothers, which are all down and double digit down this year, are down because interest rates have moved up. But if you tell me on that on the one hand and you tell me on the other hand uh, that there is strong demand out there, it is outstripping supply, I would think that should be good for those companies. It is, and I think coming uh, quarterly results in the 2Q will reflect that. If you go back to uh, the end of 2013, mid-2013, when we had, saw a similar move in uh, the 10-year, you know, the group uh, was under pressure about 20%, and then within six months it self-corrected. I think that's a very similar proxy where we're at today. We're going to have the health of the spring selling season come through on numbers. Um, everything we've, and we visit over 100 communities this spring, myself and my team, as we do every year, and we're just not seeing any signs of, of slowing out there. But Jack, I mean, I don't get it about the affordability. It seems to be going completely in the wrong direction. Direction. You've got this low inventory problem, which is pushing prices up at the same time that interest rates are rising. You really don't think that'll have an impact? No, if you go back to the, you know, the mid-80s and you look at the trade-off between uh, rental uh, payment and mortgage payment, it's been abandoned about 10% plus or minus, and it got really out of whack in 2007, where it was almost 40% more expensive to, uh, to own than rent. And now we're uh, conversely on, on, on the low end of that. It's about 26% cheaper on a payment basis to own versus rent. So we still have some room, and on that measure, we think you know, we're not really worried about rates until we get you know, in the 10-year into the forest, quite frankly. So the you, other thing you, that the builders... Go ahead, finish. Go ahead. I beg your pardon. Oh, the go other ahead. thing... Yeah, no, that's okay. The builders that um, we talked to, we're not seeing uh, folks buy smaller homes. We're not hearing of folks uh, optioning less. And most importantly, we're not seeing arm demand pick up. We're not seeing buyers move to arm loans as you'd expect and as you've seen in prior rate moves. So let's switch to an interesting play here. You like some of the mortgage uh, insurance companies. Why? We do. We think they're, uh, number one, levered to housing. Two, they're levered to that dynamic um, uh, of the entry level becoming a bigger part of the market. Um, you've got a new FHA head today who uh, is, is likely going to probably shrink that mandate over time, which is natural business tailwind of the MIs. And you've got great high teens returns. You know, mortgage credit uh, went through, obviously, a paradigm shift coming out of the crisis. And we haven't made the first bad mortgage loan of the next downturn. And I, I, I don't think the, that mortgage will uh, end up being a driver of, of whatever downturn or slowdown is the next one. Uh, mm -hmm. The guardrails that are in place, the underwriting, the, the loan manufacturing, you can't fudge a W-2 anymore. It's all electronic. And, and the CFPB and, and the Fed and the rules that were put in place post-crisis, some of those were, 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 were for the positive. And so we haven't seen the excess. Remember, the crisis excess was easy money. We're not seeing. We're not seeing that. This is demand. This is uh, millennials finally stepping into their home buying years. And I'd also say this is not a zero sum game. I would right. say we're we're in a shortage shelter situation. You're hearing the single family rental companies talk about very strong demand. So right. this is not just home home uh, purchase. It's it's going to be I think more broadly throughout the system over the next five years. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.